Hi guys and welcome to another Beaver Builder tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to build this little circle counter module. Really easy to use. We'll be using Ultima add-ons for Beaver Builder to do this. And if you want to check it out you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is click on the Beaver Builder. Once loaded, I'm going to add a little hit the little plus icon up here, and it'll show us all the modules. All these modules come as standard with the Beaver Builder. If I click on the little drop down here, we'll see UABB, which is Ultimate Add ons for Beaver Builder. I'm going to click on that, and it shows us all these extra modules that you get with the Ultimate Add ons. I'm going to go to Creative, or roll down to where I want to go. And I'm going to click on the counter right here, left click, and I'm going to drag it and drop it in the column that I want it. Let's move this over so you can see. Now by default there, it's put in a little number for us. And if we go over to the general settings, you can choose only numbers. You can make it a circle counter, which is what we'll be doing today. You can make it a semicircle counter. Or you can make it a bar counter. Now you see a lot of these on sites today. They're pretty useful things to have. So I'm going to stick to a circle counter. There it is as you can see. It's a lot better looking than that green one over there. Now you can change it, you can have it in percentage out of 100 or you can do a custom range which is pretty much any number you want to put in there. I'm happy for the time being with a percentage and let's say 76%, no particular reason. It'll now roll up to 76%. And if we keep scrolling down, if you want a text above the number, simply put it in there. And below the number, funnily enough, put it in where it says text below number. That's great. So we got the basic setup that we want right here. Let's go over to our style tab. Now you can decide what size you want it. By default, that's 300. I think I made my other one over there 250, but it's entirely up to you. As you can see, that shrunk down some. Circle stroke size. Well, the stroke is the thickness of the actual circle right here. So you can take it down or up. If you take it up, be careful, it may spill out of your actual block there and look a little strange. Let's take it down to say seven. There we go. Now the circle foreground color just below that is the dark blue color right here. Let's change it to a crazy dark purple or something. That's pretty awful. There we go. Foreground color is this little strip right there the bit that's left over after your percentage so you can put that in there if you want to put put an opacity percentage in there you can do opacity is see-throughness if you will so 0% would be invisible and 10% would be barely visible 100% is fully visible so let's put in the circle background color really doesn't matter what much what color at the moment that's a sort of dark gray that'll do let's say let's put in um, say 30% opacity and that'll make it as much lighter gray there we go and the opacity has taken that down to a much lighter gray okay structure rise overall alignment center that's perfect for me you can have it left or right if you wish number top margin this is the number. The margin is the top is between projects and, 
and bottom margin would be complete so you can bring it up or down obviously you don't want it to push out of your circle or maybe you do see I put 30 in there it's a little too much for me let's bring it back to about 15 perfect I'm going to leave it right there just to make sure they're both the same I'll put 15 in the bottom as well now if you want to put a separator below the number you can do so here I don't but I'll flip it to yes just so you can see what it is that might work for some applications for me don't think so all you could do is take that bottom margin away and so that would be close up against there but I'm going to put that back to no because I don't particularly want it in mind today going on down you can change the actual animation speed if you want to and the delay before it starts so let's say 1.5 seconds and it'll slow down the time it takes from start to finish there you go so it's a second and a half there so we're pretty much done with that section if we click on the image or icon you can decide whether you want to put an image in there or an icon at the moment it's set to none let's put an icon in there and decide where you want it above the heading below the heading I'm gonna have mine above the heading I think and here we select the icon itself and there's a whole load to choose from with Beaver Builder and Ultimate Add-ons plugins um, that's one I used before I guess I'll use it again and as you can see it's plopped it in right there you can change the size of it if you want to I'm gonna leave mine just like that for the moment and we'll go to down to style and at the moment it's simple style and you can have a circle background which is fairly self-explanatory you can have a square background which funny enough will make it a square or you can design your own I'm going to keep mine on circle background and there's a couple of preset styles here we're on preset one at the moment which is one I like but this other one's pretty subtle I quite it'll, it'll work in a lot of situations too where it's got that sort of semi opaque background there and the actual icons change the blue but for for mine I'm going to keep mine on preset one now the icon color itself you can change there I'm going to leave mine just as it is you can put a hover color in for when people are hovering on it background color let's change that to that crazy purple or something similar a little dark that'll do fine just click on the color and close him up again you can change the opacity if you want to for instance if I took that down to about 20% would be pretty subtle but I quite liked it how it was so let's take that back up to 100% and again you can set a background hover color if you wish with opacity and if you want to put a gradient in you can do that also so that's pretty much it we just need to do our typography next really so if we go to the little three dots here we'll go to typography and let's click on the font you can change all your fonts here and alignment size and everything I'm gonna leave mine just as it is color obviously you can change here to whatever you want I guess we'll change it to a crazy purple color as you see it's made it that purple color right there and the actual writing itself the projects and complete again you've got all the font defaults you can change the font type style spacing and give it text shadow if you want I really don't need any of that I'm going to keep it fairly simple click on the color to change the color obviously and make it whatever color you want 
there we go and we're pretty much done with our circle counter so I'm going to save that and just to get it in line with our other one there I'm going to go into the actual column settings over to the advanced tab I'm going to give it some padding on the top of say 50 pixels and the same on the bottom and there we have it we are all done so I'm going to save that I'm going to hit my little done button up here save the draft scroll on down and there's our little number counter and that's a lovely little feature especially if you've got some stats to sh show off on your site of course you can have as many of these as you want so there you have it there's another great module from ultimate add-ons for beaver builder I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.